guys and welcome to the Evenos Office YouTube channel. So in this video today, I wanted to create a video where I talk about six really popular niches on Etsy for art printables that you could create an entire shop around. One of the really important things when you are creating an art printable business on a platform like Etsy, for example, is that when you build that shop, you make sure that it looks super cohesive and that it really suits a particular type of customer who's gonna come in and purchase. I think something that happens so often and I have an art printables on Etsy course and I've taught many many people how to create their own art printable business and go on to make sales and income and so often I've had the wonderful privilege of being able to look inside people's shops and see what's working and what isn't working and one of the biggest things that I have seen that causes an Etsy shop in particular an art printable and wall art shop to really struggle to make sales is when someone comes in and thinks the easiest way to make sales in an art printable shop up is to create a whole host of totally different varying art printables all in different niches and styles and that hopefully that will appeal to somebody and I do not judge when I created my own art printable business and I first put everything together that was exactly what I was thinking I'll just create a ton of different stuff with a ton of different styles and someone's gonna find something they like and purchase right that's pretty much what we all think when we start any type of digital product business particularly something that's very creative like an art printable business but what you soon start to realize as you see obviously myself with building my own business but also as I've seen and helped so many other people is that the key to building an art printable business that attracts customers that make sales that encourages repeat purchasing is that you focus down on one type of art printable or one niche let's say of art printable and you lay out your shop your branding your beautiful imagery the marketing material that you create to attract your audience your SEO you lay it all out around that niche or around that type of art printable that you're creating and though it might sound counterintuitive to effectively exclude a bunch of people in order to make sales when it comes to a platform like Etsy what a lot of customers are really looking for when they come in and they purchase products from Etsy is to find artisans and people who are really passionate about a particular thing that they do that's a little bit different something you're not really gonna find on the high street or in the market and that they'll be able to purchase from an awesome small business a small Etsy shop that is doing that exact thing actually look online at the shops that are doing very very well on Etsy most of those will have a particular niche that they are really focused and double down on and what we're going to talk about in this video are six different types of niches for art printables that are really popular on the Etsy platform that if you want to you can create an entire shop around or drive in traffic and make those sales so let's dive into the very first niche so the first niche that we're going to dive into is one that I haven't really talked about very often but it is super up and coming I think on the Etsy platform and this is the vintage niche. So this is about creating art printable designs that have a very classic vintage feel to them. They're usually around things like portraits or beautiful old landscapes, maps, old advertisements, all of those beautiful elements that somebody wants to be able to basically instead of going antiquing and trying to find that really classic look somewhere in an old car boot sale or something like that for something that looks vintage is to actually go and purchase an art printable that has that vintage classic feel to it but obviously it's super easy to print out and add into your own space I think this very classic beautiful vintage style is becoming more and more popular on the Etsy platform I think it's been popular for a long time but it's getting more and more and there's so much space in here to specialize in you know types of vintage or types of classic looking art printables that I think a lot of people, lots of people haven't quite kind of dived into yet and I think there's a lot of other ones that we're going to talk about on here that kind of stand out as the most popular types of printables that you find on Etsy but I think the vintage niche is one that I think not many people talk about but it is a beautiful niche that you can again create an entire shop branding marketing material in order to drive the right type of people in make that purchase 
and grab your product the second art print niche are watercolors and i wanted to keep this a bit broader than given like a specific type and um, i've talked in previous videos about more specific types for example like nursery decor where you've got that watercolor vibe to it or it might be bathroom decor that you've got that watercolor vibe to it but really i wanted to create a video where it's a bit more of a broader topic to give you some freedom and leeway inside of that niche so really this video is more of a jumping off point where you can think do you know what i love that watercolor style i love that design i love that elegance that softness to watercolor like the calmness of it and i would really love to create an art printable shop that encompassed that in a particular way so again it might be a more watercolor nursery theme that you go for or it might be a watercolor kitchen theme that you go for or it might be a watercolor landscape theme that you go for or animal theme that you go for there's lots of different variations and of course if you are wise about it and i'm not gonna dive into this now um, in this video because I feel like this is a whole separate video that we'll talk about and of course I talk about this in depth inside of my art printables on Etsy course which of course I will leave the link to underneath the description box it'll probably be on the waiting list right now but I always recommend if you want to grab a place on the waiting list because it means as soon as the doors open to the full art printables on Etsy course which takes you step by step through setting up an art printable business on Etsy from scratch. It's had hundreds of students, so many wonderful people doing amazing things with their business now. So you're always welcome to join and grab it if you want to. And I'll leave a link to it underneath the Twitch box below. If you join the waiting list, you get 50% off as soon as it opens and an additional early bird bonus or discount as well. So, so, so worth joining the waiting list. But back to watercolor prints. You can, if you want to, and you're smart about it. And I say smart about it because lots of people veer off on this I've made this mistake as well you can integrate multiple almost sub niches or smaller niches into one you could have a watercolor art printable business that specializes in all different types of watercolors but it has a common theme that runs through it so it might be that you offer nursery prints you offer bathroom prints and bedroom prints maybe even printable cards and mugs and tote bags and all of those things but you need to make sure there's a common thread that runs through it and predominantly when we're talking about art printable shops and very graphic design shops a lot of the time it will be the style of art that you have got on each one of those products it's just making sure that you are designed for a particular type of audience and they love the style that you create so watercolors is a great option the next one moving on from that are botanicals so this is one again you will see this all over the etsy platform in a whole range of different styles this isn't just going to be watercolor botanicals although that is an option and the way you can combine that style together but there's also more boho style themed the cactus theme blew up massively not long ago and the more kind of desert plants and botanicals came in and again there's always new trends and new styles coming in in the botanical niche that you can capitalize on i always think that this is really important to mention when we're thinking about creating art printables it's so important not to think of them as a separate entity to think of them as what they are which predominantly most of the time is home decor and so when there are particular styles in home decor that stay and last then those art printables that are within that niche are going to stay and last and stick around as well. And botanicals, plants, florals is something that never really goes out of fashion in terms of home decor. So it never really goes out of fashion in terms of art that you would add into a home. So because of that, it's a really great niche to find an audience because there's a huge audience of people who are interested in particular styles of botanical prints. And it's really about then choosing, okay, this is gonna be my niche, I'm gonna focus on botanicals, but then I want to find a particular style that I can create my art printables around and that there's a particular audience out there who are looking for that style. The next one is one that if you like art printables, for the sake of the fact that you create it once, you put it up on a platform like Etsy and then you can sell it and then you don't have to do anything with it on the back end, this option is probably not gonna be the best option for you. However, if you just are creating art printables and you want to create them because you want to see people enjoy them, this might be a really great option for you. And this is personalized art printables. So this is basically when someone can add, for example, their name or their family name, particularly family names and portraits. Family portraits are super popular on Etsy. But then you've got a whole host of different ones as well. I'll probably show some imagery somewhere just to show you, because I'm trying to describe it is a bit awkward. Lots of different variations of custom and personalized art prints that you can create inside of your shop 
for your audience. And you could do this either in a way where you have, say for example, you might have a botanical niche and you want to offer some options of customization inside of that shop. So you might wanna offer some options where people can add their name or someone else's name or a quote or something that they want to add. Or it may well be that customized art prints are your overall niche. So you actually have lots of different designs that can all be customized from one way or another. Some people still choose to do it the way where literally the person just leaves them a message, tells them what they want to have that's different on that art print, and then they will create that design and then usually email it to them when that design is done, that finished custom print's done. Or they might well choose the more template route where someone can download it and make changes to the text in the artwork themselves. So it's up to you how you prefer to do it. But customized and personalized prints, I think is a really popular niche. It's, you know, really fun as well, but it can come with a little bit more responsibility on the back end. For example, if someone needs help with understanding, for example, if you do a template option and someone needs help understanding how to do that and how to change things over and swap things over, or if you choose to do the other option whereby somebody literally just messages you and says, I want this print and they purchase that print and they leave a bit of information to say, can you change the name to, or can I change the color of, or whatever the personalization is, or even to the point that people can send you images and you can hand draw them and then obviously upload that as a digital print and send that to them. There's lots of different customization options that you have, but it is a little bit more labor intensive. It's entirely up to you, but it's an amazing niche and you can obviously incorporate a bit of it into your overall shop, or you could have an entire shop focused on that. The next one are typography prints. So these are prints that are text basically, and usually they're quotes or sentences or things that people usually resonate with because they're really motivational or inspirational, or even we could go back and say they're customized. So literally someone's paying to have that text written onto an art printable that then they can download and print out themselves in a particular style that that shop provides. And typography is a really amazing option. I mean, you can't move for typography prints on Etsy. And so the only thing I will say about this, and I say this, for example, with members inside of my art printable the Etsy course, we talk about how to find those designs that actually resonate with your audience and how to cut out that competition, especially when you are in a quite competitive niche like the typography niche. If you are thinking of having a typography focused Etsy shop and that's your main niche, it's really about finding a particular art print style inside of this niche that helps you stand out to a subset of the audience of people who are looking for a typography print. So if someone, and again, we just have to put ourselves into the shoes of somebody who's purchasing or looking for this type of product on Etsy. And when they're coming in and they're typing in typography print or most likely something like quote print or saying print or text print or something like that. We really need to think about their journey. So usually they're gonna start off by having a broad idea by if they're gonna use Etsy search, probably just looking for something really general. And they're gonna obviously be inundated with a whole host of different styles of typography prints whether that's, you know, beautiful floral calligraphy style ones, or whether that's really minimalist style or really bold styles, there's gonna be so many different styles. And what you really need to focus on is not trying to attract the back person who overall just wants to find a typography print that's right for them. What you really need to focus on is helping those subset of people who are looking for your type of typography print to find you. What is the type of typography print that our audience, the one that we actually wanna drive in and help them find our products, what type of style are they looking for? Is it a very minimalist style? Is there a particular theme or a particular trend that's going on in that subset of a niche right now that you could hit on? Is there a particular topic that's really popular? or a type of quote that's really popular. Again, you don't wanna go into copyright issues. We don't wanna be copying exact quotes of things that you know are very popular and obvious and all of that good stuff. But is there a certain theme that they're very much into right now that we can create quotes or motivational, inspirational wording around that theme because we know that's gonna attract that particular type of audience. So we're not looking for the person who just generally wants a quote print or generally wants you know, a nice minimalist text print. We're looking for somebody who wants a certain style. So I just thought that'd be the perfect time to explain 
how we kind of narrow down our audience and why it's so much more beneficial to do that, particularly in really popular kind of overall niches like typography. So I hope that makes sense. And finally, the last bigger overarching niche that I think is one that again is growing popular on Etsy but it has been popular for a long time but I think Etsy is a really great place to offer this type of art printable because so many people look for this type and this is abstract art. Abstract art is becoming even more popular on the Etsy platform. I think it's like over the last couple of years really blown up and obviously a lot of people are coming into Etsy to find unique versions of abstract art. And it's a really, really beautiful niche. It's one that if you're a creative person, you think, yes, that's the perfect one for me. Then again, I think it's a great opportunity to create your shop around the abstract niche. But then also you need to think about just as you would with typography, because again, abstract is getting more and more popular. You need to think about what it is that you're gonna add that's a little bit different to your art printables that helps you stand out and I, and I always again I just want to clarify I always think that that's not the best term because I feel like that makes people feel pressurized to do something big and out there in order to stand out on Etsy and in reality it's just the subtle differences that actually stand out to the particular subset of audience that you're trying to drive in who are looking for abstract art so it might be a color scheme that they're really, really into or it might be a certain type of shape that they're really into or it might even be the way that your art printable is presented a lot of the time and i'm going to create a whole separate video on this there can be quite often like a disconnect between the mock-up that somebody uses and the art print that they use and they think and i've had this i've done this myself so i do not judge but they think that if i just have an art a mock-up and i have one available maybe it's even a free one if i just grab that and put my art print in it and put it online the job's done you know there's a representation of what my art print looks like but they don't think of how important that image is because that image as someone scrolls through that's what they connect with and they think ah okay this is a piece of abstract art but this room looks just like mine or this is the room that I would aspire to be and this is what I want my room to look like and therefore this piece of art would look great in that space. So if you're using mock-ups and again, it's a whole different thing but I just wanted to say if you're using mock-ups that don't resonate with the audience, for example, if you're creating abstract art, it doesn't resonate with that audience at all, they're gonna keep scrolling until they find a mock-up with a beautiful, similar even abstract piece of art that does resonate with them. So the reason why I wanted to say that is it can even be down to that because for, if you, even if your abstract art is not massively different to lots of other pieces of art, maybe it's got similarities in it, there's still many, many ways that you can stand out on Etsy that will still mean that your abstract art will stand out and make those sales. I hope that this video helps give you some ideas of amazing wall art and art printable niches that you could create an entire shop around. You can build your business within that niche focused on that particular audience start driving that traffic getting that conversion and making those sales so i hope that helps guys i will leave a link underneath the video as i said to my art principles and etsy course i'll also leave a video here as well or somewhere around here that shows you how to create art principles so if you want to take that next step and start creating them that's a great video to watch and also definitely don't forget to subscribe because i'm constantly creating videos around creating digital products selling digital products online and if you haven't yet, definitely check out my Evenos Office membership community as well, which I will leave a link to in the description box below. It's a place where we all hang out, all people who are creating digital product businesses. It's such an amazing environment and there's constant tutorials and lessons and we talk about building our business and we teach each other how to grow our business. And I'm there so you can have one-to-one -one support from me as well. So if you need that help with building your particular digital product business and you want that one-on-one -on -one support, definitely just hop into the membership, say hello to me, and we can get started building your business. So I'll leave it there, guys. Bye.